In this video, we're going to be taking a closer look at the Lumens LC200 Capture Vision system, an all-in-one switcher, recorder, and live streaming unit. Now, this system is ideal for houses of worship or lecture capture, really any situation where you need something that's pretty powerful, but very easy to use to deliver that engaging content. So let's take a closer look. The LC200 supports up to four 1080p video sources, and those four inputs can be devices connected to either the HDMI inputs or the Ethernet port for NDI, HX, and RTSP sources. The HDMI inputs, of course, support embedded audio, but you do also have four dedicated 3.5mm jack inputs too. There are two HDMI outputs, one as a dedicated program out, and the other outputs the main control panel. So let's plug in the power cable, the HDMI output, and the USB mouse and get this system up and running. When the unit boots up, on the control output, we get displayed four options or four tabs from where we can go into to control the unit. Now I'm going to go into the director tab because that's where we really run our production from. You can see in the top left that we have our four channels to assign inputs to. All are currently blank, so let's add some video sources. The first is going to be my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera, which is going to go into HDMI input 1. And we can see there, we've got an image straight away within the LC200 director dashboard. The second is gonna be a Blackmagic HyperDeck Mini, so a playback device that's just running some video content. This could of course be a laptop with a presentation or really any HDMI device. I'm gonna put that on HDMI input two. And we can see that we've got the signal coming through there on the screen on input two. And the third input I'm going to use for this setup is the Lumens VCA 50PTZ camera, which does support NDI HX. So I'm actually going to plug that in just by getting it on the same network as the LC200. Don't need to use any of the HDMI inputs. So once that's plugged in, we just need to assign that. So you can see channel three has HDMI input one, two, three was currently selected. And you can see now that I can see the VCA 50PN camera. And there we go, we've got an image. Now on the audio tab, we can see each of our individual inputs for the audio. And as I mentioned, these can be embedded over the HDMI in, or you can use the dedicated three and a half mil audio input, which can be line or mic level. We do also have our master controller on the right hand side here. Now to mix between these sources, we just drop down onto the Scenes tab and we can see Layout here. And this is where I can select any one of my sources to go live. So at the moment we're on Input 1 live. If I hit number 2, of course Input 2 goes live. Hit number 3 and of course it's the camera to my left here goes live and so on. And we can see as I scroll down, we've got lots of different layouts here available for us to use. Picture in picture, split screens, quad split. So let's just do a side by side picture in picture. I can then overlay a graphic on top of whatever layout I choose. And I've got a few preset options in here, but of course you can obviously upload your own graphics. I'm gonna hit this one, which is a hold and live graphic. And then we can even add a background too. So I'm gonna add Let's see which one I like best. Let's go for this one. And there you go, it's that simple to create a shot. Now what we've effectively created there is what Lumens are calling a scene. So if I go into the scene folder, you can see here that instead of having to recreate all of these shots each time, and of course, if you are already live, then your audience will see you building these shots, and of course, you may not want them to see that. We can actually just save these preset layouts that we want to use into the scenes folder. So here we've got my layout that I just made then. We've got one live, still with the overlay, two live with the overlay, three live with the overlay, and then we've got a mixture of some split screen options that are pre-configured. Here, of course, we're not using the fourth input, so this window is blank here. So you can see just how easy it is to make something that looks very professional, quite dynamic, just on the fly within a few clicks. Now with this Lumens camera, because it's NDI HX and it's just connected over IP on the same network, if I go to the next tab down, which is camera control, I can see here, that of course, we only get the option to control channel three because that is the only IP camera that we've got, that's PTZ on this network. We actually have full control 
over the pan, zoom and tilt, all from within the LC200 software. So you can see that is incredibly versatile to have, especially if you're just the one operator. Potentially, if you want a few of these cameras, you can control them all from within the LC200. And of course, we can save presets for the PTZ cameras too. So now that we have our shot laid out, I want to show you how we can easily record and stream our content. Now to do so, I first need to set that up. So I'm going to go to the home page again. Remember where we had these four tabs and go to the configuration tab. The LC200 has a one terabyte internal hard drive to record to, and we can record just the main program, or we can record the program along with each of the individual input sources. We have a few options for the video compression to be used. You can also customize your own preset and for higher quality recordings, record at up to 10 megabits per second. And we do also have the option for recording to a USB drive that's connected to the front USB port on the LC200. So let's look at the streaming settings. Now the first thing you'll notice on the streaming tab is that we can pick a video compression just for the streaming side of things. So if your internet isn't the quickest, we can record in the highest quality locally to the hard drive, but stream at a slightly less quality that requires less bandwidth. And at the bottom here, you can see we have our streaming setup. Now, what's really nice about the LC200 is that you can actually stream simultaneously to three different destinations at any one time. So if you wanna to go to YouTube, Facebook, and maybe your own content delivery network, you can do. So let's go back to the home tab and go back to the director module. And now I can just hit the record button on the front. Now recording will automatically start. And if we wanted to stream again, we can just hit the stream button on the front and the LC200 will just automatically point it to where you've set it in those settings. Now, because the LC200 saves all of our settings and our layouts, our scenes, if we don't want to jump into the control panel each time we want to do a recording or go live, we don't have to. When it turns on, it simply recalls the last default scene and settings, of course. And on the front panel, we can just trigger our recording or live stream just as I've showed you. We can also switch between some of the shot layouts too. This is ideal if you just want to set this into position and leave it as is. And then whenever someone comes in to maybe teach a lesson or you've got someone leading a session where you want it covered, they can simply come in, turn it on and hit record and away they go. Now, the last part I want to show you is where those recordings are all stored. Now, if I just go into the home tab, if I go into the file manager, we can still see our live output here on the right hand side, but at the bottom left, we can see all of the recordings that we've done. And these are just organized by date. So you can, we can see we've got a few with just one movie file in, which will be the program recording. And then we can see ones where we've got the program along with each of the four individual ISO recordings. And what we can do is just double click on any of these and we can see that we can play them back. We can even push them live if we want to on our current live stream or current live recording. And if we want to, we can copy them to a USB drive that's connected to the front of the LC200. You can even set those recordings to automatically be uploaded to an FTP server. So if you've got a few of these units installed, maybe in a few different lecture theaters, let's say, at the end of the day, you could set those units to automatically back up to the FTP server, to your centralized storage to make managing that content much easier. So I hope that's given you a good idea as to what this system is capable of. There are a couple of extra features that I've not gone into, but are definitely worth mentioning. One is that you can actually schedule your lives and recordings to automatically start from within Outlook or Google Calendar. And the other is that the LC200 can actually be easily integrated into content management systems such as Kaltura or Panopto. So I hope you found this video useful. If you've got any questions, guys, do just put them in the comments below and I'll do my best to get back to you. And if you want to find out some more information, just head over to the Holden website. Thank you for watching.